In this video, I'd like to build a eukaryotic cell. Now here's an empty cell. We've got a cell membrane, which is a phospholipid bilayer around the outside, and a cytoplasm, which is where all the chemical reactions, or most of them, occur in the middle. So for a eukaryotic cell, we need a nucleus, because that's the definition of a eukaryotic cell. It must have a nucleus. So let's grab one from down here. So here's my nucleus, this little bit here. I shall grab it and we shall move it into place. There we go. On it goes. If we move that up a little bit, grab this guy again. There we go. So, that's our nucleus in place. Now the nucleus is not quite so simple as you might originally have thought. So you'll notice that it's got a membrane around the outside that's got gaps in it. They're called nuclear pores, and they allow certain things to get in and out, which we'll talk about in another video. You'll also notice that there's a darker region in the center of the nucleus. This is known as the nucleolus, and it's where the manufacture of ribosomes, which I'll talk about in a second, takes place. Those squiggly lines in the main part of the nucleus, they are the chromatin, or the genetic information and they will be arranged as chromosomes at certain parts in the cell cycle. But for now, we've just drawn them as long scribbles of DNA goodness. So what else do we need in a eukaryotic cell? Well, we need some membrane-bound organelles. Now, the best one to start with, probably, is the mitochondria, which is this guy down here, the pink guy. Um, and this is the site of aerobic respiration, and it's responsible for producing loads of ATP, which is a chemical energy source for the cell. So, there are loads of these guys kicking around, so I'm going to have quite a few. Uh, they range in size mm, from about 20 nanometers upwards. So, there we go. A couple more of these guys kicking around. One over here, cover that blank patch up, and one over here. So, the more active the cell, the more ATP energy it will need, and therefore the more mitochondria it will have. So there we go, quite a few kicking around in there. What else should we have? Let's have one of these guys. This is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which is a really big mouthful. Um, but this guy here is responsible for the synthesis of lipids. It builds lipids and fats like steroids. Um, we usually find them loose in the cytoplasm, or they can be bound to the nucleus as well. The other kind of endoplasmic reticulum we have is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which looks sort of dotty. Now, the reason why it looks dotty is because it's got these, it's got these things called ribosomes built onto its surface. And we'll talk about those ribosomes in just a second. This is the site of manufacture for complicated proteins, such as enzymes. So let's talk about those ribosomes. This is them here, they're made up of one small and one large subunit, and they are all throughout the cytoplasm. These are the smallest organelle. So I'm going to have quite a few kicking around. Now, ordinarily on a diagram, these are just dots, or in an electron micrograph, these are dots, because they really are so small. And these guys are what's going to build proteins. Okay. So in addition to the endoplasmic reticulum, these guys can build proteins loose in the cytoplasm. Because they're quite clever like that, really. So there we go. A bunch of these dotted around. And what else have we got? It's looking pretty full now, but I think we can fit some more stuff in. Um, this guy down here. This is the Golgi apparatus, or the Golgi body. And this is responsible for modifying or, or packaging proteins for export. And we usually find these guys hanging around near ribosomes or near the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And the idea is proteins will be synthesized here and they will move through the Golgi and they will end up in a little vesicle which is like a membrane sac for export or for storage for later. But we'll get rid of that for the time being. What else do we have? Oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to add in are these guys. Now obviously in real life they don't have the skull and crossbones inside, but these are called lysosomes. And they are awful little vesicles that contain enzymes that are designed to destroy the cell. So if the cell gets the end of its life, or it goes through programmed cell death, these lysosomes are released and they digest the contents of the cell and essentially recycle all the components so that they can be used 
uh, later on in, in, in the body's life, in the organism's life. So that is a eukaryotic cell. I'll just go around and add the labels on. So this is the cytoplasm where the chemical reactions occur. We've got the cell membrane, which is a phospholipid bilayer, which looks a little bit like this. You know, so your phospholipid heads on the outside and the um, hydrophobic fatty acid tails on the inside. What else have we got? Oh yeah, we had the mitochondria. That's these guys. These are double membraned organelles as well because they have really vigorous reactions going on inside. Okay, mitochondria. Uh, we have lysosomes. That's these guys. Which contain the enzymes to destroy the cell. Uh, we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, which synthesizes uh, lipids. Reticulum, sometimes just called the smooth ER. Reticulum, squeeze that in just about. Uh, what else have we got? We've got ribosomes, which are these guys, which synthesize proteins, simple proteins. We've got down here, we've got the rough endoplasmic reticulum which has the ribosomes on the surface, endoplasmic reticulum, there we go, or rough ER. There we go, what else are we missing? Oh yeah, we've got, these are nuclear pores. Then we've got, uh, where can I fit some labels? Uh, let's have one over here. That is the nucleolus, which manufactures ribosomes. Nucleolus. And this whole structure here, oops, this whole structure is the nucleus. Not as simple as we first thought. Then inside the nucleus we have chromatin, which is essentially DNA. DNA. And I think that's everything. There we go. That, oh no, I've missed out. Sorry, beg your pardon. We've missed out the Golgi. How can we miss out the Golgi? This is the Golgi. Oops. Golgi body or Golgi apparatus, which modifies and packages proteins. And that, if I get rid of all of these guys, oops. This is. Oops, get rid of those two. This is our eukaryotic cell complete. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Like.